welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. I know, it's definitely been a while, but I'm happy to say we have a very interesting Batman character to talk about. One, that when they announced it, I thought, well that's interesting, and then I bought it, and it finally arrived, so we have the online McFarlane store gold label exclusive, Mr. Zazz. Not much going on on the sides of the box, but rest assured, it's the 90s Mr. Zazz. Around the time of Nightfall, just before, in and around. You get the idea, but the artwork on the box is not going to reflect that, just FYI. That's a completely different variation look for the character of Mr. Zazz. And like I said, Here's the barcode, you see the name, you're not gonna need it, it's an online McFarlane store exclusive. Mr. Zaz, Victor Zaz, MR.Zaz, created by Alan Grant and Norm Brayfogle. Shadow of the Bat number one is his first appearance. His whole shtick is that he's a murderous serial killer madman, and when he does kill ya, he puts a little tally mark on his skin, and that's his whole M.O. He's like a 16-year-old girl that just recently went to Hot Topic. But in either case, yes, he's creepy, he's terrifying, and we will discuss his eyes or whatever they are. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toy Store online gold label exclusive from their DC Multiverse line, Mr. Zazz. So now here's everything taken out of the packaging, and I mean everything. And no, FYI, it's not lost on me that when saying his name together, like Victor and then Zaz, it totally sounds like something else. I get it, but he does come with a weapon, a knife, and for the character that is Victor Zaz, yes, that's really the only accessory you're gonna need. Has nice paint, silver, black handle, you get the idea. The character itself, the action figure itself, is pretty well done, but I know a lot of people are gonna go, what is with the eyes? Yes, he does have normal eyes, but when he goes all serial killer sinistery, his eyes turn into, well, basically Janine's glasses from the real Ghostbusters. He has little white pupils, everything from the eyeballs to the uh, eyebrows, everything kind of mixes into just black, weird slits. And that is totally what's going on with this action figure. Now, I will admit, does it really translate to plastic form? Not really, but the head sculpt is pretty good utilizing it, and I'm a big fan of this, so I'm biased. So I'm definitely digging it. I like the way the head portrait is. I think in terms of translating that weird artwork, they've done it. And yes, I know, all the little hatch marks all over him look like Sharpie. We can agree on that. But it also looks like how it's drawn in the old comic books. So I'm really not too upset about it. And just as a fun game, see if you can count how many victims are portrayed here. I'll put the answer at the end of the video. He doesn't have any tally marks on his hand. That's one area that I really wish they would have put some. And yes, some extra creepy Mr. Zazz hands would have been a very welcome pack-in for this. Now, I did say, however, wow, they didn't even put the tally marks on the back of the character. Well, as I reread the comic, they actually nailed it. He doesn't have the tally marks on his back, so they got that right. I guess, yes, you wouldn't be able to really tally mark his back unless somebody else was doing it for him, but I will say this, they got the pants correct, they could have put tally marks on the tops of his feet, just FYI, but, in a totality of a Victor Zaz, Mr. Zaz action figure with the knife, the weird face, everything else, I have very little to say about this other than I like it. I think it came out pretty cool because I'm a fan of the old 90s comics by which this Victor Zaz hails from. It's the artwork of Norm Greyfogel brought to life, and for that alone, that's what I like to see, McFarlane Toys. More of this, please. Because with the knife, with the type of character that this is, 
Yeah, they nailed it. And for as little as there is to really creating a character like Mr. Zez, I would hope they would get it right. And I would say that through and through out of the entirety of the DC multiverse and really with recent characters, as we've been discussing and going, well, this is wrong. This is wrong. Yeah, little to nothing. They got the pants, the tally marks, the weird eyes. They, they've they done it. They've succeeded here. A lot of people are going to disagree. I get it. You're not going to be a fan of this. And this figure is not for you. But for all the 90s people, especially my friends who I've talked to, they go, well, yeah, that's the Victor Zaz that I know and remember. But I know a lot of people are big fans of his look in Arkham games and on the TV shows and everything else. So I get it in that sense. But 90s fans, you're going to probably dig this. In terms of the height of this character, he's a schmid shorter than Batman and Nightwing. So that's how I honestly see him. So in that sense, I even got the height right. That's cool. In terms of matching him up with other characters, let's say from pre-Nightfall, Joker, the whole Asbat, Bane, of which we are getting a new, more on-model Bane. That's a plus. Yeah, he definitely goes with them as well. So again, through and through, I like this Victor Zaz. <laughs> So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys online gold label exclusive, Mr. Zaz. Again, I know, and I know how the comments are gonna go. They're gonna, oh wow, this is weird, and this is off, and this is cheap, and now well, that's the character from the comics, and I like it. Yes, they could have given him more knives. Yes, they could have given him more hands. That would have been a plus through and through. I still ordered it, still wanted it from a Batman shelf, and I'm happy he's there. He's a very obscure character in many ways. I get why Target, Walmart, most stores were like, you know, I think we're gonna pass on this serial killer character, but to have this character, a figure of this character, of which there are a few out there for various incarnations of Mr. Zaz, but not one for his comic book 90s Gray Fogel Alan Grant counterpart. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mr. Zez. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let's keep seeing some more obscure characters. Sure, put them on the McFarland store as an online exclusive. But... Put in the effort, make them look like what they're supposed to look like. Don't skimp on the details some more like Mr. Zaz. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. And if you guessed it, yes, he has 150 victims on his body. Adios.